Queens back again for week three for Splendid Beauty and Evolution Beauty by Eden. Hey. And of course, me, the, the ever famous illustrious one. mother. The one with the troughs. She gave them to me, so. See video too. See so, video too. You know, I'm getting them too. Um, so we're actually going to kind of pick up on where we left off last week with the lymphatic drainage and prepping the skin and cleaning it and moisturizing it. And she brought up a good point that I did not bring up last week, which is drinking lots and lots of water. Um, water is going to moisturize you <laughs> from the inside out and it's going to help a lot with the skin texture as well as the moisture level in your skin. Yes. Um, I have really dry skin on my body and I, I noticed that if I don't drink a lot of water that different places in my body will actually crack open just because of the kind of work that I do with my hands. So I can always tell when I'm not drinking enough water because I do see it kind of underneath my eyes and in my hands and other places in my body so water is very important. And as we get older and our hormones start to change, praise God for that, right? I mean, like, <laughs> who voted that in? Um, body, skin dries, hair dries, everything dries out. So it's important that you drink plenty of water. So, yes. Agua, water, H2O. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to cover is a little miracle product that I discovered Aww. a couple of years ago and I, I honestly don't remember what it was like to do my makeup without this. Um, I can, especially on other clients, I can basically do my whole makeup with this. Oh, <laughs> the magic orange egg. <laughs> oh lord. So he's stained, he's clean, but he's stained because he's well loved. Um, there are a lot of beauty sponges out Ooh, there. Oh, show her that one. Show them that one. Look at this one. It's as big as your face. Look. <laughs> and there's face. a baby it... one. Yeah. And there's a baby one. Mama, daddy, baby. <laughs> you do this, it's like. <laughs> you're so that's, done. That's actually a body sponge, but I use it on my face because it gets on my foundation on quickly. That's a body sponge? It is a body sponge. Hmm. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I borrowed that from you one time. You did. But I use it on my face. Oh. <laughs> there's no rules. <laughs> There's just one rule. <laughs> Put your shirt back on. Don't use somebody else's body sponge when you think it's their face sponge. Yeah. <laughs> it's my face sponge too. <laughs> so there are high-end companies like um, the actual beauty blender company. Everybody calls their, their beauty sponge beauty blender because that's kind of who came out with this technique. Mm -hmm. Sponges have been around forever. Um, makeup artists who are well versed have been using this trick forever, but Beauty Blender kind of put it on the map and made it accessible for like normal people. Um, That's us. I don't enjoy spending twenty dollars on a beauty sponge. Uh uh, not today, devil. Um, so <laughs> or tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> or next week. <laughs> so I actually I did a whole lot of research and I spent a lot of money that I didn't have at the time to. Um, find like the best dupe and I actually like this one better not only because of the price point but just because of the um, density of it and the softness of it so this is by a company called Real Techniques um, and they are a company based off of uh, two sisters called the Pixie Woo sisters out of the UK and they have their whole line some of their brushes are my favorite brushes cool name. Pixie Woo that is awesome <laughs> and we're just like Gina and Eden I mean, everybody gets my name wrong anyway, so we might as well rename, our, rename ourselves. Her name is Eden. E D E N. Like the garden. Not, Not Edith. Edith. <laughs> Not, Not Edna. Edrina. Edrina. Candy. Close. Anyways. Anyways. So um, it looks like this. It's got a little RT for real techniques. Um, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at uh, CVS, Walgreens, Ulta, and now they come with like a little travel case, um, so you're not throwing it in your makeup bag with all the other dirty products that you touch, but this is or like- someone else's body sponge. <laughs> <laughs> kind of gross me out for a minute. So this is, it should be around six or seven dollars alone. If you get the tra the one that comes with the travel case, it's around ten dollars. You can also get double packs for like ten or eleven dollars. Um, the trick to this is not only keeping it clean, obviously with like a bar soap, but moisturizing it, like running it under water, um, and then wringing it out. And it actually goes from about this size to this size. Uh, so it needs to be damp. It's magic. <laughs> so I actually use these on my clients. I have some in my client kit and I do practically the entire base, uh, with this one tool, even loose powder. Um, and then you can actually fix your mistakes. Like if you go too heavy on your blush or your contour or your bronze or anything like that, you can actually pat over it 
um, and this is like a magic eraser for your makeup so it's wonderful so always run it under the sink until it's sopping wet wring it out until it's just kind of damp and squishy um, and then we are actually going to uh, move on to the first product so there's this I've received the magic jewel you have so the first product that I'm going to recommend is also another drugstore product It's by L'Oreal and this is going to actually kind of give you a glow that's going to maybe peek through your foundation just a little bit to make you look even more hydrated and healthy and luminous. So this is by L'Oreal. It's called the Lumi Lotion. I use the color Light Glow. Um, so it's not the lightest. The lightest one actually has like a pink undertone, but she has a warm kind of yellow undertone just like I do. So we're going to use something that's got a little bit more gold in it. We're going to put this all over the face. I use my hands on clients. I use uh, the sponge. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put it on the sponge for her. You need about a quarter size amount. Uh, about that big and you're gonna run it all over your face so just kind of dot it all around doing it or am I doing it so we're gonna dot it all the way around through here and it looks kind of intense um, but you're basically just gonna pat this in here so pat it all into the skin on all of my skin on yep. the whole face yep, everything the whole face see how it's kind of giving her like a turn sideways just a little bit and then turn it this way so it just kind of gives her a little bit of a luminosity to the skin a luminosity a a a so you're I'm, messing up my, my line i'm sorry i'm just like a light freeze down on my line so i'm gonna do half of your face and i'm gonna let you kind of do the other half so basically what you don't want to do is swipe it because when you swipe you're actually causing streaks in the makeup and we want everything to be very blurred and um, blended. So you're going to get all the way up into the hairline. Because everybody knows swipe or no swiping. <laughs> so you're going to do the other half here. Okay. So just tapping everywhere. All over the lid, underneath the eye, the whole nine. So this is going to moisturize and it's going to give you that like, it's basically like a fake glow. I'll take fake glow. <laughs> well, it maybe look like J-Lo if I fake glow. It might. With my swipe or no swiping. It might. I'm always thinking Julia Roberts is gonna pop out from behind here at some point, huh? Jennifer Aniston, somebody. How's that? Don't okay, so if you kind of shift your face back and forth, you can kind of see where it's just kind of shiny. It almost looks like a little. It look like I've been on the beach, hey! <laughs> it will almost give you like a greasy look in person, but you're gonna put things on top of this, so it's just gonna kind of peek through, kind of flatter, flattering your your skin and the hydration. Yeah, maybe I should just. Use the body sponge and go for it. <laughs> okay, now what? Okay, so the do next I have to let it dry? Nope. Nope. It's, so it's, a, it's a Lumi lotion, so it's not gonna dry down. Okay. Okay. So that's it for this video. We've kind of prepped it, um, and we've kind of made your skin all nice and glowy on top of the clean skin and the moisturized skin, lymphatic drainage, and now we've done a little bit of uh, faux glow. Faux glow. <laughs> 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 if anybody's ever watched the movie. Oh, with the soul glow, you'll know that's funny. One quick question before we sign off. Sure. Um, with the Lumi Lotion, can I just go out like this or is that unwise? You probably don't want to do that. Um, right now, it looks kind of attractive in the beauty lights, but in person, you kind of look like a greased chicken. <laughs> So probably not a good look. Um, actually, in fact, it might reverse the whole flattering look that, that we're going for because right now your pores are illuminated, the fine lines are illuminated, um, all the discoloration maybe underneath your eyes is a little bit illuminated in person. The glow, the lights are kind of blurring things, but if you get way closer, well, let me share that with everybody. So you just kind of look like you've been sweating at the gym and you're really trying to look all oh, cute. Oh, it does. You look oily. Oh, I do look sweaty at the gym. Yeah. So right now you look a little bit But you're going to fix that girl. <laughs> so next week we're going to come back and talk about um, filling in the pores and the fine lines and wrinkles that we don't want peeking through our makeup. Um, but you don't want to go, you know, and have maybe needles poked in your face sometimes. So mm. this is going to be a pore filler also from the drugstore. So sponge, Lumi Lotion. Clean skin, moisturized skin, lymphatic drainage, damp sponge, Lumi lotion. Hey! Bye! Bye, <laughs> my popular doomer! And my better popular. than ever. Hey! Still glowing! <laughs> Not sweating at the gym, but glowing. Well, almost a little too much glow. So we're gonna. I didn't know there was such a thing. There is a thing. There's too much glow? Mm. Is there too much sparkle? There is. <gasps> So you want to say it is it's so <laughs> I'm ready for the polyester pants with the elastic waistband and some gold shoes and a floral top. Oh, JK.
<laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next skin concern is what for you? Well, if you get up close, like I have these huge pores. I don't know if you can. I have like really bad pores. I had acne terrible when I was young, and then now, now because I'm getting older, I have these lines. And this one right here, I'm pretty sure you could drive a truck through. <laughs> so um, I was hoping you could fix it. Absolutely. Um, so if you don't want to go the Botox route, where it actually plumps up your skin um, with like synthetic. Uh, properties and it actually will freeze the muscle so when you see women that are walking around like this and then when they smile they just like they can't move their forehead it's because not only does Botox uh, kind of put a plumper in there but it actually freezes things so you just need to keep that in mind um, <laughs> you want to be free while you're getting your wisdom skin you don't want to be like I can't show the muscle for 48 hours yeah uh, great shouldn't have you on your birthday Thank you. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give you guys two options here. There's one at the drugstore, and then there's one at like Sephora. If you decide that you wanna drop 30 and $40 on a primer, if you feel like it's gonna do a better job for you, um, then I'm gonna give you two options. So the first one is the L'Oreal. We're big L'Oreal fans over here. We are. L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. It comes in like a little tub. Uh, you get it at the drugstore, any drugstore, Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Ulta, anything like that. Um, the whole thing, the whole top comes off. So clean hands, please, please, please make sure you have clean hands. Don't dip in here with nasty stuff under your nails. But it's kind of a pink substance here and you can see it's well loved. Um, and this actually has got like a thick kind of a velvet silicone feeling. Um, and then the other one is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. It's literally the same exact kind of stuff. Um, so if you put it on the back of your hand, it comes out very thick and this one dips out also very thick. But you feel like that they both do They do the well. same exact job. Um, I stopped buying the expensive stuff. I haven't even used this actually since, um, I got, I found this one. So, um, they, they both do the same thing. They're very thick. They kind of spread out, um, and they, they have like a velvet texture. So they do the same thing. This one's got a little bit of a tint to it, but it does kind of fade away into the skin. So um, it smooths out the skin. It, it kind of goes into the pores, fine lines, wrinkles, and it just kind of gives you like a smooth canvas here. So um, I like smooth. we all like smooth. Easy like Sunday morning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> so the trick to filling in your fine lines and your pores and your wrinkles like I did no strips when I was younger and it like tore up all the capillaries and the pores and stuff in my um, t-zone through here and I also like I mentioned before in a previous video I'm getting lines through here I have like crazy pores through here um, and that also can come along with oily skin I could almost always look at a client and know if they have dry or oily skin based off the size of their pores so um, this won't prohibit oil production necessarily, but it will help smooth everything over and it will elongate your makeup life just a little bit longer. Um, it is like a, a, it's like a slippy substance. So um, if you have really, really oily, oily skin, you might want to use like a mattifying primer first and then put this over it um, because it is kind of slippy. So it's going to move around if you have is like- Is like a wax on or wax off? Sort of. Okay. Sort of. So. I'm actually gonna have you use a drugstore kind. Um, so you're just gonna dip in, and you're gonna get about that much. And that's gonna pretty much cover all of your concern areas. There you go, got, got it. it. So where do you feel like you have a lot of pores, fine lines? Uh, definitely the pore area is here. I have like some pretty significant ones right here. And then I have this, is like 285 going down my face <laughs> right here. It's bad. Okay, so you're gonna wanna dot this around the face. So I'm gonna do one half of your face. So just kind of dot it and kind of evenly spread it around. So you do the other half. Okay. Okay, so the trick to this is not just rubbing it in, but actually pushing it into the lines and the uh, pores. And because your pores don't stick straight out, they're kind of out and just a little bit downturn. You don't want to be rubbing in the uh, filler like this. You want to be pushing it in and kind of flicking it up into your skin with your fingertips. <laughs> I'm taking it. He's like, 
So I'm gonna turn towards you. Okay. And I'm actually gonna rub it in. So she's got lines kind of going across her forehead, so we're actually gonna go and across kind of a horizontal angle here. Your hands smell real nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually see, like if you tilt your head down this way, <laughs> you can actually see that area where it's completely smooth rather than this area. You can almost see that like demarcation line through here. Uh, don't be calling that a demarcation. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna wanna kind of smooth it across through here. And then if you have little areas of concern through here where the pores are, you swipe up. Okay. Swiper, yes, swiping. So you're gonna swipe up into the pores here and then up into the nose area on the side of the nose. And then any fine lines that you might have around your eyes. And this But thing, you don't wanna do it on your lid. No, because that will make your eyeshadow slip and slide around and that's not cute. Oh yeah, that's not cute. Your eyeshadow's on your eye one minute and in your ear the next. Unattractive. <laughs> you know how like when sometimes you fall asleep with your makeup on, taking a little nap and you wake up looking like Okay, so get up in the mirror for, the or get up in the camera for me. So you see everything is just kind of smoothed out. It's not a massive miracle maker where you're not gonna be able to ever see another pore or fine line again, but it definitely does assist it. Yeah, that 285 went way down. <laughs> you and you can that? always add more like if you feel like Maybe you ran out of product or something like, like that. Do the whole <laughs> just kidding. You can add a little bit more and just kind of pack it in there. Go through there. Yeah. So now I gotta do up and flick. So your forehead, if you have lines going across, you wanna swipe across. And then anywhere else where there's just pores and stuff, like if it's like downward facing lines or pores, you just kind of push it and kind of pack it in. Almost like Almost like caulk in a bathtub or grout. Like you just want to pack it in. Like sheetrock mud? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Did I do that right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I did that right. You did. Yeah. Do you feel like you need more? Um, I think I'm looking pretty good. What do y'all think? I think I'm looking pretty good. Three foot rule. <laughs> hey girl, hey. <laughs> Yeah, good. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna introduce in this video is um, multi-layering setting sprays. So do you have oily skin? Do you have dry skin? Do you have combination skin where it gets oily in some places and dry in another? Well, now that I've reached this phase of my life, it's dry. It's dry. Okay, so the it last- It used to be T-zone oily, now we're just dry. Okay. But I'm not scaly dry. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like peeling, I don't have that, it's just, Dry, hands dry, skin dry, just constant lotion, lots of water, moisturizer. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna introduce are setting sprays. <gasps> we love setting sprays. We love setting sprays. <laughs> My little Hercules. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, okay, the best thing about setting sprays, I, I didn't know these existed. The only thing I knew they existed for a long time was just hairspray, setting sprays, until Eden showed me this. Cause you'd put your makeup on and you would be on point in the morning and come lunchtime, there wasn't no point on your face. It was all dragging down your face. Setting spray. Change my world, girls. Change my world. Yep. So what you want to look for in your setting sprays is glycerin. Glycerin is going to help everything adhere to the face and it's going to um, give you longevity in your makeup wear but it's also going to give you a skin-like finish again. So even if you do have extremely oily skin and you have to pack on the powder, this is gonna give your skin like a luminosity and a skin-like finish to your makeup again. So that way you don't look super powdered down and kind of drag queenish where you just, there's a lot of makeup and you can see every single layer. So my favorite setting spray of all time, and I've used a lot of them at all different price points, is from Flower Beauty. Right now you can only get this at Walmart and they just came into Ulta. Um, but this is actually the line from Drew Barrymore and it's amazing. The, the mister on this is kind of what sold me al alongside with like the product quality. Um, Cause a lot of setting sprays, they just kind of squirt out at you and there's huge glops of setting spray yes, on your I've face. Used those before. And if you let it dry and don't blend it out with your magical sponge, ah! It actually will catch the light and when you're turning you see like big glops of like setting spray all over your face and that's not cute. Not we cute. want seamless blends. Seamless. I already <laughs> got drops of stuff happening in my bare skin. I don't need help. So if you have oily skin, 
um, what you want to do is after you've cleaned, you've moisturized, you've done your lymphatic drainage, you've done your uh, prep with your lotion and your pore filling and your and your line filling. Um, if you have oily skin, you want to seal all of that in. Okay, so I use this is the Seal the Deal Long Lasting Matte Finish. So even though you know you might want a luminous finish, always seal in that first layer with the matte finish if you have oily skin. So this is the purple top. I don't know if you're able to see it. It's probably backwards, but it's sealed the deal. And this says matte finish right here. I think this is like nine or ten dollars. Um, so what you want to do is actually I'm going to use the dewy finish on her because she did say she had dry skin. But the spray is just very fine. Like it, it feels like a baby's breathing yes, on you. Yes, little angels just <laughs> landing on your face. It's just so marvelous, really. So if you have oily skin, use the purple stuff. If you have um, dry to normal maybe combination skin, you can use the blue cap, which is my personal favorite. And this is the Seal the Deal dewy finish. So kind of looks like that. It's just blue. So this is for um, water. So blue is water. So you want everything to look luminous. And the purple is if you have oily skin. Okay. So we're going to use the blue because she did say she had some dry skin. I overdo it on setting spray. I don't know if you do or not, but I do. It's, a, it's an obnoxious amount of setting spray. Well, I don't know if I overdo it, but it's just so lovely. You're just like... <laughs> So I probably do at some level. Okay. But I'm a product of the 80s. You know, we, we were in the whole hairspray thing. Yeah. So I can take my spray. And this stuff saying? is so fine. You almost have to like feel like you're doing too many sprays in order to like saturate your face. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of pull her hair back a little bit. We're going to get about half a foot away. And we're just going to kind of spray through here. Don't squinch. Just there you go. Just relax through here. Okay. There's nothing to see. It just makes you look a little bit more dewy again. There I am, redoified. But the glycerin in this is actually going to adhere to all of the products to your face that we already put down, and it's actually going to help the products that we're gonna put on top of the skin adhere to that. So there's products and spray and products and spray. That way you're building and you're sealing in the layers as you go, if that makes yes. any sense. Yes. Okay. Great. So we'll be back next time with the actual foundation. So I know this Yay. seems like a lot, but Prepping the skin is going to help with the look of the skin. So yes. see you next week. Bye.